Hey guys, time for episode two of our Atom Astro Boy build. I've got uh, book number three and book number four delivered. So first we'll have a quick look at the uh, what we've got inside the magazine on book number three. And it looks like we've got a, a tear-out page here. If I can get that out carefully. And it seems to be blueprints of the uh, real Atom. Well, the real one in the anime. So it's got all the, uh, you can see all the designs with all the springs and levers and motors and actuators and the rocket feet. And on the back, we've got the uh, completed blueprint with the uh, covering all on. So we've got the normal view and x-ray view. That's pretty cool. Make a nice poster. And then inside the uh, magazine, this one's a thinner magazine this time than the first uh, couple. We've got like interviews and whatnot with uh, various people. As we flick through, oh, I'll bring that back into frame. And uh, more information about various robots. We got uh, Abo there, the Sony dog. Looks like an old uh, Asimo, maybe up there. Up oh, there's the instructions for what we're going to do today. And if we flick over, we've got a big centerfold. There's Abo. There's a Pepper. This is a, a SoftBank robot that's uh, used in the SoftBank store. SoftBank is the um, like a mobile phone provider, but they're a very big tech company in Japan. I think they actually just bought out ARM microprocessors or something, maybe. Uh, very, very big company. We got the one we're making, just here. The Astro Boy. Of course, Asimo. Everyone knows Asimo. The Honda robot. All various different ones around the place. I've seen this one around. And uh, this one I've seen as well. This is like a little, I think it's a home-based robot. Like it's a you know, kid's toy sort of little home assistant robot or something. And coming over, there's all like more of the toy sort of ones over here. Oh, there's a few, like a, looks like assistive sort of technology. But yeah, they need to make more badass looking robots like Gundam and that. Like, see this one here? This sort of thing. I want to see more robots like this. Where they look like a real robot. Something that can kick ass and, you know, save the world or something. But I guess they've got to look at aesthetics in the mainstream, so... Yeah, we get nice smooth curves and white plastic. But yeah, one day we'll get one with laser guns on its arms. And it's just the usual sort of stuff for the rest of the magazine, all the uh, markety sort of advertising. A little bit of a uh, little bit of manga there. All right, let's pull this thing open. And we've got a whole heap of stuff inside of here to start playing with. So it looks like today we're going to finish off the bust. Well, the construction of it. There's still stuff to go inside and motors and stuff, or servo motors. There's a couple of screws there. And the base. And from last episode, we've got the body here and the face. So let's see what we've got to do. Instructions. Put stuff together. All right.
I think that's it for now because in the next book we're going to put more stuff in so we can actually close the thing up. So let's clear the table and have a look inside here. This one is wrapped in plastic so if I carefully just tear it open Okay. Oh yeah. What do we get? <laughs> wow. All that packaging just for one little servo. Is that for real? Yeah. Okay, got a bunch of cardboard. But at least this magazine is not stuck to a box, so it's gonna be a bit easy to play with. Alright. Hmm. More advertising stuff so we got more people this is what I'm interested in all the electronics and the CPU got a USB chip going on USB hub so it's going to be like USB devices connected to the Raspberry Pi 3 what's this one there's a pic micro there XMOS risk Micro. Xmos is a brand, so it's a, uh, a risk chip. I'll have to look more into that later on. And the instructions for this one are here. Ah, we're just putting the servo horn onto the servo. So there's a servo horn. This is what we connect stuff too. So the servo has just got a little uh, spline shaft. If I open it up, Fujisoft Nidec has a little uh, plug on the back. But the servo has got like a spline shaft coming out the front. I'll, actually, I'll zoom in and I'll explain this. So the output shaft here is splined and there's a dot on there. And then in our horn, maybe you can see there's a little notch. If you look in the picture, you can see the arrows pointing towards the notch, and then that's got to line up with the dot. So if we put that on like that, that's lined up. Let's stick our screw in. All right, done. <laughs> episode two's finished. So those two bits are all for this episode. Putting that plate on, there's gonna be a circuit board I think that sits on here. And then putting the horn on the servo, which for now I believe is just gonna make the, uh, the head move with a switch. So I notice in the rest of the book, we've got this sort of diagram here, parts close up, it's showing you a few modular sort of things. I think it's all the, uh, showing you where all the different servos are gonna be. We're going to have quite a few. We're going to have 19 servos. That's that's a lot of servos. But um, I think what's coming up next is a battery holder, a new face plate, some hair and some screws and whatnot. Looks like the eyebrows here maybe. So hang around. We'll get through this thing eventually. And uh, don't forget we've got that Patreon, so check it out if you feel like it. If not, keep watching the videos and we'll see you next time.